What if I told you that the footage we filmed right now for this project is already being cut by my editor in a completely different state? I wanna show you guys a new way to make your productions more seamless and faster using Atomos Connected products. Now, I do wanna thank Atomos for sending these products out for us to use. Now, what I have here is the brand new Atomos Shogun Connect. Now, at first glance, this looks very similar to the Shogun 7, but this one here has a huge upgrade. So what makes this Shogun so special? Well, this is actually one of the very first integrated products in the Connect range that is network connected and utilizes Adobe's camera to cloud powered by Frame.io. And they've done this by introducing three new products. The first one being the Shogun Connect, which I briefly introduced. Now this is going to be ideal for bigger productions that require recording in higher frame rates or larger resolutions like 8K. Now, if you own a Ninja 5 or Ninja 5 Plus, they have a new product called the Atomos Connect. Now, this module attaches directly to the battery compartment of a Ninja 5 or Ninja 5 Plus, and it gives it that wireless functionality that the Atomos Shogun Connect has, and it brings it to the Ninja lineup. And lastly, we have the Zato Connect. Now, just like the Ninja 5 and also the Atomos Shogun, you can use this as an onboard monitor, but this also has those connected features. So this is going to be ideal for those using this as a live streaming events to social platforms or also video conferencing. So how does this all work? It's actually quite simple. So your phone, your tablet, your computer, they all have a Wi-Fi antenna. Well, that's exactly how this works. This has a Wi-Fi antenna that connects to a router, a hotspot, or other Wi-Fi connection. For example, with my Ninja 5 Plus and Atomos Connect, when I hit record, not only is it recording to the SSD, but it's also uploading a proxy version of the footage that we just shot to the cloud. And because this uses Atomos new Cloud Studio, I'm able to set the destination of where I want my footage to go. So in my case, I have mine set up to Frame.io. And I do this so that my editor can easily have access to my footage within Premiere Pro. And the benefit of this is that it closes that gap between production and post-production, allowing team members to collaborate in real time. For example, a few weeks ago, our team was hired to help iJustine, a well-known YouTuber in the Apple community, film the majority of her Apple coverage. So during one of the shoots, I had asked Justine if we could use one of the Atomos connected devices to see how it would perform and if it could improve her workflow. Now using an Atomos Ninja 5 Plus with an Atomos Connect allowed us to be more efficient with our schedule because while we were filming Justine and getting B-roll, that footage was automatically being sent to Frame.io so that if her editor wanted to, he could have a skeleton of the project completed by the time she got back to her studio. Now this is a huge time saver because we spend a lot of time filming B-roll. Then we have to go back to the studio, unload the footage, then begin the edit. This new way eliminates so much time and allows for a faster workflow. And I think the best way to demonstrate this is by giving you guys a live demo because I think this is phenomenal. So right now I have Adobe Premiere Pro loaded and I'm working on a project. But let's say for example, I wanted to get more B-roll. So I'm using my FX3 now. The way this works is as soon as I hit record on my camera, it'll automatically start recording on the Atomos Ninja 5 Plus. Now, right now, if I hit stop recording, what's gonna happen is the file that I just recorded right now is automatically being uploaded to the cloud and you'll notice that it'll show up in Adobe Premiere Pro right now. There it is and it just popped up immediately before I even finished telling you guys and I can use that footage right away. Now, Atomos is planning to introduce a progressive upload feature. Now, what that means is that when you hit record, it will automatically start uploading that footage to the cloud. So in theory, when you hit stop, and if you have a fast internet connection, that footage will already be available for you in the cloud. Something that's beneficial to a workflow like this is that you have a master file that you're recording to the Shogun or the Ninja 5 but you also have a backup that you can record internally to the camera. But then you also have the proxy file that was uploaded to the cloud. So essentially you have a backup to the backup, making this a very secure workflow. 
Now, one thing that I really love is that the proxy files and the hero files that are being recorded to the SSD are named exactly the same. So what that means is that when you go back to your NLE and try to relink them, the operation is seamless. Also, as of filming this video, the hero files that are being recorded to the SSD are in an Apple ProRes 422 format. Atomos expects to introduce an Apple ProRes RAW option in a future update. I really love what Atomos is doing with Adobe Camera to Cloud, but more importantly, right out of the gate, they made this cost effective by having various options to be able to use this technology. Now, touching on what I said earlier, this isn't just for big productions, this is also for small or even a two-person team, which in turn makes it more accessible for everyone. But let's not forget the versatility of these products. You're not just getting a camera to cloud live streaming solution that you slap on the back of your camera. Camera. You're getting a bright, sharp monitor with an HDMI SDI connection that anyone on set can appreciate for its versatility. Now, if you guys have any questions regarding any of these products, leave me a comment down below. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching, and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.